you Merry Berry Day, Skeebs. Berry Day's not until tomorrow, Spiral. Duh. Then happy almost Berry Day, Skeebo. Race it to the roundhouse. Yeah, yeah. let's do it. Youngsters, but save a branch or two for me! You got it, Cersei! Ready, aim... Tits off! Okay, Grinder, you're up! Literally! Ooh, so pretty! Hope we have a white berry day. Silly, how do you think Pac's doing? Well, better than last time when he had to rescue Santa Pac from the Netherworld. But, you know, he always misses his parents during the holidays. Yeah, we should probably head back to the dorm to check on him. Try and cheer him up. <laughs> Hi, guys! Let's power this bad boy up and get the party started! This is gonna be the best fairy day ever! The pack is back! Ghost chomping at his feet! Pack's our hero! Pack just can't be beat! Yeah! Pack is strange, he's a challenge down machine. Young monster goons, and only one can stop him. Pac-Man rules! The pack is back, ghost chomping at his feet. Pac's our hero, Pac just can't be beat. The pack is back! He shoots! He scores! You okay, Paxter? I've never seen you this happy while cleaning up a big mess. What's the deal, dude? Nothing. Hey, Beach Ball, I can hear your off-key whistling all the way down the... Gesundheit! Oh. <laughs> Look who's turned all domestic. Uh, maybe when you're done dusting, you can decorate the doorways and sew yourself a new apron to wear when you make a big lemon cake! <laughs> Great idea, Skibo! Thanks! Uh, you do understand I'm trying to dish you, right? I really admire your holiday spirit pack, but I'm kind of wondering why you're suddenly so cheery. Can't say! I just know this is gonna be the best berry day ever! Whistle while you can, you warbling windbag, because I promise this will be the worst berry day ever. I'm glad to see my packums happy this time of year, but I can't figure out what's changed. Hmm, maybe the little lemon lovebird's got a girlfriend. Not possible! <sighs> He's already got a girlfriend! And you're looking at her! <laughs> Actually, we're all averting our eyes in abject terror. Well, I'm going topside to confront my two-timing ex-boyfriend. We'd best follow. Somebody's got to save young Pack if Pinky's misgivings are correct. Jingle bells, Bartok smells, Betrayus, go away. Hey, hi, you guys. I know why you're so happy. It's because you've got a new girlfriend, and all this fussing and cleaning and smiling is because of her, isn't it? Huh? Her? Is that for her? Her who? I, I don't know what you're talking about, Pinky. You don't, do you? Then why are you so happy? I can't say. Can't or won't? Uh, can't? Well, I hope the two of you are very happy together. And by that, I mean I hope you're not happy. In case you didn't get it. Girls can sure be confusing at times. Uh-huh. Indubitably. Okay, this is it. <laughs> Indeed it is. The perfect time and place to ambush the pack best. Well, what are we waiting for? Send in the ghosts! 
for once, I'm not going to warn my ex, Packums. Maybe his new girlfriend can rescue him. Oh, perhaps we should warn young Pack. Are you kidding? Oh, I'd rather wrestle a dragon than cross Pinky when she's like this. You're right. Risking Pinky's wrath is far too dangerous. Besides, what can a few little ghosts do to our heroic Pac-Man? Okay, deep breaths. Deep breaths. <laughs> Cause you never know which breath's gonna be your last. Time to bury up! Or not! What a time to forget my dispenser! Guess I gotta do this old school. Is that all you got? Come on! Give me your best shot! How about your second best shot? Okay. That was a pretty good shot. Here we go. Hello, son. You're looking well. Mom? Dad? Oh, Pack! It's wonderful to see you. I can't believe it's really you. You really came. Oh, it's really us, son. We're really together again. Sorry we're late. I was up. Yeah, that's my folks. <laughs> Ah! And that's my boy, still with the appetite. And look how big you are. Well, we have been away for a very long time, dear. That's for sure. But I can't wait to tell my friends that my parents are back for Berry Day! Oh, remember what we told you, son. No one can know we're here on Packworld until our secret mission is completed. It's been really hard, but I haven't told anyone. Not even Aunt Sphiria or Circe. I figured you'd want to surprise them. No! Our mission is too important to risk our enemies finding out we're here. Uh, don't worry, son. Once your mom and I have done what we came to do, then everyone will know. Will they ever? Okay, I think the coast is clear. Uh-oh! Not so clear. Uh, nowhere to go! No time to hide! We are so busted! Unless... Hi, Pack. I really like the way you decorated the dorm. I was wondering if you'd help me trick out my tree. Looks like I caught you eating. Was that a yes? You know, it's really rude to talk with your mouth full. Sorry. It was the only thing I could think of. And quick thinking it was, son. No worse than that time we were absorbed by that giant space amoeba's carnivorous pseudopod in the grunge galaxy, eh, dear? <laughs> and way better than getting slimed by a specter. Thanks to you, Pack, our secret is safe. I'd offend all my friends before I disappoint you and Dad. We know. We know. And tomorrow, I'll sneak into the kitchen and bake you guys a nice... Spiral! Can't let him find you! But let's not do the hiding in your mouth thing. Yeah. Uh, hide in here! Uh, ah. The only thing better than a giant holiday dinner is getting in bed after a giant holiday dinner. Wait, you can't! I, uh, I, 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 I had a bunch of presents in your bed, and, uh, uh, if I take them out before Berry Day, they'll, um, melt! Or explode! Or something. Y you gotta bunk with Skibo for a couple of days. What? Seriously? Skibo? Please. Please, 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 please! Okay, as long as you don't beg, I can see that whatever's really going on is pretty important to you. Thanks, buddy. This is gonna be the best berry day ever. So I've been hearing. <laughs> <laughs> Can't wait to see Lemonhead <laughs> open his present and find the petrified <laughs> pizza from last berry day. <laughs> oh, oh, we're 
worst fairy day eve ever. Something's up with Pack, and I smell a mystery. <sighs> oh, that's better than what I smelled all last night. We gotta find out what's up with Pack, cause I can't handle camping with Skeeb another night. <sighs> Shh! There's Pack now. Yawn more quietly, or he'll hear you. My, 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 it's Backberry Pie. Mmm, that smells good. But must not eat it. He's not wolfing it down whole. How can Pack not be eating that? Uh, not for me. Must be strong. Who in the pack world could be so important to him that he'd skip an opportunity to duck? No! It smells delicious, dear. Because I used your recipe. It was always your favorite. My other favorite was your amazing pack and cheese. I always loved your mom's smash potatoes. Oh, okay. Better stop talking about food before I flood the place. <sighs> <sighs> <laughs> Delicious! Thanks, son. You're welcome. I can't see anything. Wait, there he is. He's been wearing that hat of his dad's all day. If that's Pac's dad's hat, then who's that other guy wearing Pac's dad's hat? <gasps> it can only be Pac's dad! Cersei, you're not gonna believe this, but... I still can't believe I had to hear you were back from Solyndria and Spiral. You don't understand. No one else, not even President Spiros, can know we're on Packworld. Our enemies are hunting us. But if we're successful, we'll never have to hide again. Successful in what? Hide from whom? I can't say. Mm -mm. <laughs> <laughs> Well, even if you can't tell me why you're here, I still have a million questions. Like, where have you been and what have you been up to? Sorry, but it's safer for us not to discuss our history. Okay, no recent history, but surely we can talk about old times. Like when I saved your bacon at the last battle of the big war. Ariel Flack was coming in heavy, and you were too busy battling back to notice. I managed to tackle you away from that blast just in time! And thanks to you, I escaped without a scratch. Well, that's not how I remember it. A bit of debris from one of the explosions nicked you, leaving a little scar on your left cheek. Matter of fact, it happened on Berry Day, the last day of the war. Oh, your memory has always been a little unreliable. <laughs> As you can see, I got nicked on my right cheek. <laughs> Looks like you're getting even more forgetful, old friend. My memory may be spotty, but I'll never forget the day my two dearest friends disappeared from Packworld without so much as a goodbye. The last picture I ever took of you right before you left is one of my most prized possessions. Even if I can't remember where I put it. Uh, hey, why don't we open up a few of our Berry Day presents early? <laughs> Yeah, well, this old man suddenly feels very tired. Yawn. I believe the party's over. I guess the shock of seeing us is a little too much for you. Something like that. Good night. Well, that could have gone better. We told you it was a bad idea to let anyone know we were here. Unfortunately, we didn't know just how nosy your friends were. Now, I think it's best if you two run along now and forget you ever saw us. But uh, we're Pac's best friends. We And we are his parents. So please, go. Uh, sorry about the secrecy, guys, but it's gonna be okay. There's just one thing I gotta do for my folks, and then we can all be one big happy family again in time to celebrate Berry Day. I've got a bad taste in my mouth, and it's not from Grinder's cooking. Yeah, when we went back in time and met Pac's parents, they seemed a whole lot nicer. Something's going on, and we're gonna find out what it is.
Son, time is running out. You must get us into the secret chamber that holds the Tree of Life. But I promised the president I'd never tell anyone where the tree's hidden. Then I'm afraid you'll never, ever see us again. No! Why? Well, our alien enemies infused a tracking device in our cells, and only a certain berry from the tree can eradicate the nanites that infect us. A berry that only blooms once a year on Berry Day. You'll do this for us, won't you, son? I'll help you, Mom. Pat's not the only one who can sneak around soundlessly. Shh! Be more soundless. This might take a minute. Told you I'd get us past those security tentacles. Here it is. The Tree of Life. No, oh, that's not it. No, oh, that's not it either. Ah, here we are. And there it is. Roof, my memory may not be all that great, but Pat's parents were definitely fibbing through their teeth. If that scar switched sides, there's only one possible conclusion. Betrayal, AKA betray us, and his invention swiping Dr. Slimestein. Pack, I believe you're in danger. Pack! Oh, no answer. Well, I suspect I know what the imposters are after. Follow me, Granger! Thank you for leading us here, Pac. And thank you for leading me here, Sonny and Zack. Dr. Buttocks? Leading him here? Sissy, Grinder, what's going on? Oh, I'm afraid you've been doubly duped, lad. And I suspect Dr. Heinyhead is about to ramble on as to how it all happened. Correct. I realize the only ones that could get you to reveal the secret location of the Tree of Life were your parents. So, being the genius I am, I created them! Using a photograph of your parents that I copied from Sir C, I created Hard Light Hollow Clones. I programmed the clones with all the information Betrayus has in his voluminous war journals as well as Pack World newscasts and a few of my favorite limericks. <laughs> I knew you'd be so blinded by joy to reunite with your pathetic parents that you'd do anything for them, even sneak them into the Tree of Life. <laughs> Say goodbye to your pretend parents, Pack Pest! And say goodbye to the Tree of Life as well, since you were so kind to lead me to it. <laughs> I still have time to make this right. What? Where are my berries? <laughs> Anticipating this moment, I had your four folks empty your dispenser while you weren't looking. <laughs> Whoa! Ghosts got the tree? What's going on, Pack? No time to explain. Give me a lift. I'm out of berries. You got it, bro. Too late. You are also out of time. <laughs> <laughs> I win. I win. I win. That whole story they told me about being on the run, needing a berry that blooms once a year to save them, all of it, just a lie. Well, they weren't entirely lying. There is a very special berry that only blooms one day a year, and the day is today. You gotta get up there and gobble that glowing Mary Berry and save that tree. Then take it to the new location, which will be. But how can I get up there? I got no board and no berries, so I can't fly. I've got an idea. Outside, fast. <laughs> This one's for you, Mom and Dad. My real Mom and Dad, wherever you are. Ready, aim, pack attack! There's the Mary Berry! <laughs> Uh. 
know what's next, and I don't like it! Got the tree, Cersei! I'll take it to the new secret location and meet you all on the flip side. Ha! Huh, looks like we got our white fairy day after all! Yeah, but I didn't get my parents. Well, perhaps not, lad, but I'm certain they're out there somewhere. Alive, well, and having amazing adventures just like you. Huh? They're thumbs! They're pointing at that red star. I bet that's where they are. Indeed, Pack, my boy. I believe you may be right. <laughs> we just overheard Petraeus berating Dr. B's beady eyes for blowing it yet again. Since you're not good for anything else, I command you to be my ornaments. So Pinky knows you weren't too diming her. Which is why I have come to wish my Packums a happy holiday. Thanks to this, it really is a very...